Hey everybody, today I'm doing a video on one of my favorite subjects, the Mayans. Now what we know today about the Mayans is very little. When the Spaniards went through and destroyed the Mayan civilization, they destroyed many of the text, many of the things that we would need to uh, figure out what was going on in the Mayan civilization. But what we do know is they, they were highly civilized and extremely advanced in archaeoastronomy. Now, of course, everybody knows about the famous Mayan calendar, the Zolkin calendar. Now, one of the problems I have with it is people call it a calendar. I like to refer to it as an almanac. A calendar will give you days. An almanac will give you what's going to happen on those days. Now this is based on a, the 26,000 year movement of our galaxy around Alcyon in the constellation Pleiades and Taurus. Now today you would need a degree in astronomical computation just to figure out this movement. And it is truly astounding that the Mayans charted time accurately for more than 10 million years. Now every building on the Mayan site is calibrated to cycles of time. The Mayan understood this cyclical time period very well as did other ancient civilizations. Now according to this calendar, the last age of the earth ended in 1987 and the next age is going to start on the 21st of December 2012. We are in right now what the Mayans call the transition time. It is said to be a time of revealing that will hold many lessons for humanity. Now they say of this time period that time will actually accelerate. Now I find this interesting. Uh, since 1987 have we had a rapid movement of progress on this earth? I believe so. And scientists have recently proved that time is not a fixed thing, but related to the consciousness that precedes it. Now the Mayans say of this age, it will include the element of ether. Past epochs on earth included air, fire, water, earth. But I find ether to be very interesting inclusion. Now ether is a hypothetical element that is the space between all space and to the Mayans it represented spiritual energy. I find this very interesting. So how should we interpret this Mayan calendar today? Should we just continue our willful blindness and dismiss it as a strange message from a primitive culture? Well I think they were sending us a direct message. I think they were telling us to get our act together. Reconnect with Mother Earth, reconnect with spirituality, live a proper way, or the shit's going to hit the fan. I think this age can go two ways. It can either go really good or really, really bad. Now if something doesn't happen in late December, it will be the first time in the Mayan calendar that it has been inaccurate. Everything so far has come true. Eclipses, astronomical events, everything. Everything has come to pass. I was having lunch with a few friends today and I mentioned the Mayans. They kind of rolled their eyes and kind of laughed. But I've studied the Mayans. And little do my friends know that I was secretly laughing at them.